the workshop. Recently, I made a metal stand for my Atlas lathe. In that video, I welded together the stand, I bolted the table on, and I got the lathe bed fitted. If you haven't seen that, I'll put a card up above, you can check it out. Recently, I started assembling the lathe. I kind of wanted to see how everything was going to fit, and I wanted to get the counter shaft assembly, sort that out. When I got everything on, when I got the headstock and the quick change on, and I brought the counter shaft over, and I started to figure out where it was going to go, I noticed that most of the mass of the lathe is on that side of this leg. I bought some more 2 inch square tubing, just like I used on the rest of the stand. And what I want to do to sort of remedy this problem, I want to add one more set of legs to the very end of the stand. So that's what we're going to do in today's video. I'm going to cut some material, I'm going to make a new leg, we're going to weld it on, and we're going to make sure everything fits. If that interests you, stay tuned, we'll get started. First thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to use the chop saw to cut the 2 inch tubing to length. I need two legs at 32, I need a cross brace at 13 and a half, and then I need a top support at 8. I've got the pieces cut to length and I've laid them out here up against the existing leg. That way they match. I don't think my geometry is perfect. I think it's skewed slightly towards the front. So this way when I weld it together, I won't have to worry about it whether or not it's going to fit. So I'm going to take this, I'm going to bring the welder over here and I'm going to tack weld this just to hold it together. And then once I have it tacked, I'm going to move it over away from the stand here and weld it fully. I think I've got everything where I need to be, so I'm going to just put some tacks in this, and then once it's tacked together, I'm going to have to take the lathe off of it and the top so I can fully weld it. But first things first, let's get this tacked, and then we'll do that. Alright, so I'm going to weld the rest of these joints fully and then we'll make some feet for it. I had originally planned to use these 90 degree weld tabs as the feet. And the more I thought about that, the less I liked it. It's going to make it very difficult to accurately level this whole thing. So instead, I've decided to use some square plate. This square plate has a hole in the middle, and I've put a bolt through that with two nuts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to capture this inside nut, flip it over, and weld it into the leg. And then I will be able to use the bolt and this second or lock nut to raise or lower the table.
Alright guys, that's kind of how that turned out. It's going to be a really short video today. Because I had originally planned on six legs on this thing, I only had enough of the three quarter inch bolts for four legs. I ordered a five pack. So I've got to order another pack of three quarter inch bolts and another pack of nuts. Once I have that, I can actually legitimately level this thing. But it's ready now for paint. So I'm going to paint it. I'm going to put it over in the other spot and we're going to put the lathe together. But we're going to save that for part three. I know I promised that we would do that in part two. I hadn't expected to add two more legs to this. So, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. Adding these extra pair of legs, the thing is rock solid. And when I get the lathe on there, it's not going to look lopsided. So short video today. I hope you enjoyed watching it. If you're already subscribed to my channel, I want to say thank you. You guys are awesome. If you're not subscribed and you enjoyed this content, would you consider subscribing? It'd be very much appreciated. So with that guys, keep an eye out for part three. In that one, we're going to set this up over by the surface grinder. We're going to put the lathe on it and we're going to get the lathe running. So I'm excited about part three. I hope you're excited about it as well. With that, I want to thank you for watching. Mm -hmm.